From the very beginning, we have always sought to reach out to one another, and storytellers found a new form for personal expression. Wondrous new tools will help us learn to bridge the gaps between us. Good morrow, nerds. My name is Cheyenne. My friends call me as, and sometimes I put whipped cream on plain milk. Welcome to LARP House. Today is a very special day. It kind of feels like a bunch of birthdays at once. It is Thank You Patrons Day. This is a day for us as artists to appreciate all of the support that our patrons on Patreon have given us. And so, today I am bringing the craft tutorials back with a mushroom crown tutorial, and the format's gonna be a little bit different. There's gonna be a special announcement at the end of this video, so stay tuned. So it is a gorgeous autumn day in Berlin, and I'm gonna start this video out by taking you guys with me while I go and get the supplies that I need for this mushroom crown. At least, the supplies that I do not already have lying around at home. And speaking of home and Berlin, I want to point out that I would not live here. I would not be here making videos about LARP in Europe without my patrons. So this is a thing. This gorgeousness is a thing that I can thank you guys for. I did move to Berlin because the cost of living is a lot cheaper and it's so central in Europe to a lot of places that have really huge and wonderful LARPs to explore. And because Patreon support allows me to be mobile, I, I, my options were wide open to where I could afford, you know? I will need prints on anything. Yep, go into the Mall of Berlin, which seems like not a place you would find a hobby store, but Berlin is a magical place and you shouldn't underestimate it. of minis, of small things. I love it when you take something big and make it tiny. I love it so much. Composure. All right, so I know exactly what I need. Moving back to the plant section. This, uh, this place is small but dense. Love it here. I don't need it. I don't need it. Yup, 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 yup. Here we are. <laughs> Wonderful things for crowns. Ooh, ooh. This is great. Okay, all right. This could not have been a better. Oh. 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 This is kind of what I like to use for base. So we're gonna get a roll of these. Ooh, ferns. This is good. This is some good stuff. All right, I have got a backpack full of dead things now, and I'm ready to go on to the next store. <laughs> yes. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Very important ingredient here. I don't want to check my bank account. I'm too scared to check my bank account. Now we go home and make things. And I got kind of fancy with this for reasons that will become clear to you later, but you can just go and get plants from the dollar store. They're perfectly good plants, generally. So now I've got all my stuff, I'm walking home. I'm just thinking about all the things that I've been able to do because of people who miraculously choose to support me on Patreon. I'm using equipment I never dreamed I'd be using. I'm doing things I never dreamed I'd be doing and I'm so close to so many lifelong personal and creative goals. And on top of that, 
They've been the most wonderful, supportive, and patient group of people. And at times, I have tested that need for patience because I do have not only a chronic illness, but a mental illness and a developmental disorder. Really, a uh, really wonderful trifecta there. And so I can't live life the way many people do. <laughs> and sometimes simple things take a lot out of me and I have to figure out workarounds and I have to kind of go through a trial by fire as to figuring out what works and what doesn't, what I'm able to do. And so while it does afford me certain freedoms to do work that I really believe in, like working towards purging the community of abusers and toxic practices, I also wouldn't really make it doing things another way. A nine to five situation would just, I just wouldn't make it, you know? I have never really been this independent before. And it seems to only be getting better and I'm taking control of my own life because of Patreon and the patrons who support me through there. So I'm not gonna cry on YouTube yet. Oh, I'm not ready for that, but thank you. And now, because your patronage has allowed me to put in an order for some real workshop furniture, hopefully I am coming at you from the floor for the last time. Let's make a flowerless flower crown. So getting started, we're gonna need pliers, a hot glue gun, a cord, plants, and floral wire. I'm setting up my little workspace on the floor here, and getting out all of the elements that I want to use. I'm taking a length of the floral wire and using that to measure around my head where I want the crown to sit. And once I have that length, I'm doubling it up, creating a loop at one end, and then wrapping one length of wire around the other. So I am essentially creating a, a thicker wire. So once I've wrapped the whole length of wire two or three times, I have a loop on the starting end, and I'm going to create a loop on the opposite finishing end. Once i finished my loops on either end of the wire, I'm going to use hot glue to cover up any sharp, pokey, wiry ends. I do this every time I wrap a new piece of wire onto the crown. I really really hate being stabbed in the head. So once you got both ends hot glued, I've put a white surface down so you can see what I'm doing, it's time to start with the vines. So I'm taking a length of this vine and measuring it to the crown length and cutting it there. Then I'm taking the wiry vine and I'm not gonna measure it and cut it just yet, but I'm gonna attach both ends to the start of the crown by wrapping the wire vine around the other vine and hot gluing the whole mess. I usually have a cup of water handy so I can dip my fingers in it and handle hot glue safely, but I just decided to be a monster today. So once I have all the ends glued together, I'm using the wiry vine to wrap around the other vine and the base of the crown, holding it all together that way. And just going around the whole length, trying not to let the wiry vine trap any of the cool little tendrils of the other vine so i'm just untucking those as i go and then finishing it off by wrapping the wiry vine around the normal vine at the other end and hot gluing the crap out of that as well so now i've got the base of my crown all ready to go and the next step is to add the decorations which means mushrooms I have always been able to find mushrooms like these at hobby shops with little wires at the end, which makes them really easy to just thread through your wire work on the crown already, wrap it up really well, and then hot glue all of that together. Again, remembering to cover up any sharp pointy ends of any wire. And then I add on little details, tinier plants, to cover up any wire or hot glue mess. And this is where I really like to use ferns. 
It's all just detail work from that point on. So now I've shown you how to attach the mushrooms, I'm taking stock of how many mushrooms I have and what sizes they are because I want to plan this out a little bit. So I put a big mushroom in the center and then worked out from there. Now I decided that rather than adding two mushrooms to the very back to make it a sort of perfect circle, I wanted to add two to either side of the center front mushroom to make it actually look like a crown design. Then I am liberally hot gluing the base of all these mushrooms and starting to add all the little details. This is, this is my favorite part. <laughs> I didn't expect these mushrooms to be made out of pressed styrofoam, so I am gently hot gluing the back of all of them to make them a little stronger. And waiting on that to dry before I continue, because I don't want to accidentally break any of them. Although, this styrofoam did seem to take hot glue pretty well, so if they did break, I could just hot glue them back together. It'd probably actually be stronger than <laughs> before they broke. Now I'm starting to trim up the white roots that I got at the store. They're very tough. They also look antler-like, a little bone-like, which is very much the, the aesthetic. And at this point, I'm not wrapping any more wire on anything. I'm just hot gluing a lot to make sure it stays. And honestly, that should be plenty as far as making it sturdy. And it's all detail work at this point. I'm just adding white root pieces and ferns and those little white bud things just to make it look like it was designed, but also like you could have picked it up off the forest floor. That is... that's my aesthetic is looking like I just rolled out of the forest. And now for the part that actually makes this adjustable. I'm taking that cord that I had lying around, cutting off the tassel and threading it through the loops on either end of the back of the crown. And that is what will make it adjustable. You can loosen it if you want to wear it over a wig or a hat or anything. You can also use ribbon for this. I just use this cord because it's what I had lying around. And I'm tying off the ends so that braid doesn't come undone all the way. And that's it. Once I had my materials, this whole thing took me less than an hour to make. I'm not proud of my hair, but I'm proud of the crown. <laughs> so that's how I make my forest crowns. And now for the special announcement that I promised. As a thank you to my patrons, however long you've been with me, I'm going to be doing a special offer over the next few weeks. Everyone who is a patron at $5 or more at the end of the offer will get to submit a question or a request for a personal message, and I will compile a whole Q&A slash shoutout video of them. Of course, I have to say that I reserve the right not to include any that are uncomfortable or inappropriate, but I've never really been worried about that with my patrons before, so I'm not worried about it now. More information about that will be in the description of this video and on a public post on Patreon. The other thing I'm doing is bringing back the LARP house giveaways. It's been a long time since I've had a stable place to live and work. I moved to a new country, Germany, and I moved around Berlin four times in the past year trying to find a, a more permanent place. Now I have some more stable, and because of you guys, particularly the especially generous Kevin Smith, I've been able to put in an order for the workshop furniture. I won't have to try to make things on the floor or out of cardboard boxes anymore. <laughs> and the first giveaway I'm coming back with is this very forest crown. That's right, this whole video has been a setup, an ambush of gratitude. I will be sending this exact crown to the winner at the end of this special offer. I'd also like to add that as of now, me, Kaza, and Momo are all on Patreon. So if there's ever been a time to join, now's as good as any. Thank you so much for giving us all a chance to do what we love and to take control of our lives. And thank you so much for liking us, subscribing to us, and creating with us. Normally I have a blooper here, but I got this little, little tiny teleprompter at the recommendation of our very own Ginny D. And I didn't have 500 mess-ups. I'm so confused. I didn't get so frustrated that I needed to tell an anecdote or sing a rage song to get through it. <laughs>